With some of these stretch configurations, one of the things that is challenging is uh, determining a root cause because you basically have got storage that's virtualized behind a virtualizer spread between two sites. And so what we did is we created a, a, a prototype dashboard with VPlex integration. So what's cool here is on the single dashboard, you can actually see both sides of the cluster. So on one side, you see one uh, cluster and on the other side, you see the other side. And for example here, you could see at the dashboard level, uh, macro level things like the health. So you could see, hey, the latency between the two sites is high. Now, one thing that's cool about this prototype is it enables you to drill down. So for example, you can see that that cluster has got all of these various components. So for example, here, you've got the VPlex engine. So you can click on the engines and you can find out all sorts of details. Uh, you can see, for example, that uh, the uh, cluster is degraded. So again, warnings could uh, uh, pop up and you could see uh, health levels at the VPlex layer, which is really cool. And you can see, for example, if you drill down to it even further, uh, this is the power of vCenter operations, right? Um, you can see the relationships between the, and, uh, the objects, the two directors that make up a VPlex engine. Um, and you can see them on both sides. Again, simple and easy. Look how easy it is to create a dashboard that reflects a stretched clustered configuration. Um, but beyond that, uh, obviously there's certain scenarios where, hey, it would be very useful to be able to uh, uh, drill down into the storage configuration behind the VPlex cluster. And uh, you can actually do that as well. So um, uh, again, you can see more and more details here, basically the interfaces and other components behind the underlying engine. So pretty cool stuff. Um, and again, this is just a prototype of a vCenter operations uh, uh, integration with vPlex. It's real, but uh, certainly not GA and has not gone through all of the testing and, and uh, validation that uh, goes into uh, creating a GA adapter like uh, we've done with uh, the VNX connector. What I'm doing here is I'm looking at it and going, hey, look, you can see the relationship uh, between the LUN at the ESX host layer all the way down to the uh, uh, device at the VPlex cluster layer. And underneath that, you can see the underlying um, LUN. And notice the icon is different. This is actually benefiting uh, from the uh, uh, VNX connector, which is GA. Uh, the icons all are actually unique and have been built into uh, uh, vCenter operations. And here you can actually see the underlying configuration of the VNX behind the VPlex configuration. So you can see the pool, the LUNs, the storage processors. So again, an unbelievably easy way to see an end-to-end -end view uh, for a customer, both at the VPlex layer and at the underlying storage layer. And as more and more storage vendors create their own vCenter operations uh, connectors like we've done here with uh, the VNX, uh, since VPlex supports heterogeneous configurations, heck, you could even see it um, uh, across uh, third-party storage vendors. How cool would that be? Uh, by the way, notice I've drilled into this even further. I've said, show me the pool, show me fast cache, show me the capacity, and notice the power of the VNX uh, connector for vCenter operations. Each one of these has got its own uh, analytics, its own icons, um, uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff.